On June 15, 2012, President Obama announces a policy to enable undocumented students the ability to apply for deferred action. Policy uh, to make it more fair, more efficient, and more just. The Department of Homeland Security is taking steps to lift the shadow of deportation from these young people. Eligible individuals who do not present a risk to national security or public safety will be able to request temporary relief from deportation proceedings and apply for work authorization. What did Obama announce in his speech? Obama announced a program by the Secretary of Homeland Security called Consideration of Deferred Action for Childhood Arrivals, or DACA for short. DACA allows certain undocumented immigrants the ability to receive a two-year renewable work authorization and deferred removal against an individual for a specified period of time unless terminated. Who is DACA for? DACA is for any undocumented individuals that meets the following requirements. 1. He or she is under the age of 31 as of June 15, 2012. 2. He or she came to the United States before reaching their 16th birthday. 3. He or she has continuously resided in the United States since June 15, 2007 up to the present time. If he or she was previously deported, ordered removal, or left the U.S. during this period, please discuss with an immigration attorney. 4. He or she was physically present in the United States on June 15, 2012 and at the time of filing the DACA application with the United States Citizenship and Immigration Services, or USCIS for short. 5. He or she has entered without inspection before June 15, 2012 or lawful immigration status expired as of June 15, 2012. 6. He or she is currently in school, have graduated from high school, or obtained a general education certificate, GED. 7. He or she has not been convicted of a felony, significant misdemeanor, three or more other misdemeanors, and do not otherwise pose a threat to national security or public safety. Traffic violations will not be considered. Remember, during your application process, you have to prove these requirements. For proof of identification, your passport, national identification documents, school ID card, birth certificate with photo identification may qualify. To prove you came to the United States before your 16th birthday, your passport, school records from the U.S. school you have attended, medical records, dated bank records, and etc. may qualify. You may have to be creative to find documents that support your claim. You will also need to prove that you were present in the U.S. on June 15, 2012. Rent receipts, bills, school records, employment records, tax receipts are possible proofs. Please remember, do not lie on your application or supporting documents. Here are the documents required to file for DACA. USCIS Form I-821D, I-765, and I-765WS. Remember to visit USCIS website for the latest forms and requirements. We will go over a few important points about these forms. For Form I-821D Part 1, your full legal name must be the same on all of your forms. The I-821D, I-765, and I-765WS. In Part 2, you are required to report your present address and all of your previous addresses in chronological order. There cannot be any date gaps. If you need more space, you can use page 7. If you fill up page 7, you may make additional copies of page 7 and attach it to your application. In part 4, you will be asked about your criminal background. If you are doubtful about any of these questions, it is a good idea to obtain a biometric report at your county or sheriff's office. If you did answer yes to any of these questions, you should seek an attorney. Note: Be aware of legal fraud. Download the free forms from the USCIS website. Verify you are receiving legal service from a BIA accredited representative or an eligible attorney and learn about the filing fee, which as of July 2015 is $465. Please report any legal scams to the Federal Trade Commission. In Form I-765, remember your name must be the same on all forms. For Question 16, if your eligibility category is C-33, fill in C in the first parentheses and 33 in the second parentheses. The last parentheses may be empty. In Form I-765, you will need to explain your economic needs to work. For payment, you may pay using check or money order payable to the U.S. Department of Homeland Security. Note your check or money order account must be located in the United States and payable in U.S. currency. 
When you have completed your forms and supporting documents, remember to make a copy of all documents for your own purposes. Mail your I-821D, I-765, and I-765WS forms and payment to USCIS. Please visit USCIS's website for mailing instructions as each state has different mailing locations. If you would like to receive an email and or text message, please also complete form G1145. After USCIS receives your request with payment, USCIS will send you a notice to visit an application support center for biometric service. It is mandatory that you complete this step. There is a 90-day period for reviewing forms I-821D and I-765. You can check your status online at the USCIS website. After you have been granted DACA, if you wish to leave the United States, you must file for advanced parole in order to be allowed re-entry into the United States. DACA can also help undocumented individuals who have overstayed their visa and those who attempted to immigrate but fell through the legal immigration process. Here are some resources pertaining to DACA.